Hey everybody and welcome to the first episode of 2019. I am so excited because we have a guest speaker who's joining us today. Just give me a minute because I am bringing her on. We are talking about um, Sorry guys, we are talking about how to lose the diet lifestyle for good. It is amazing that I have Crystal Midsky, who is a good friend and anti-inflammatory nutritionist. Oh, sorry, she's a nutritionist and anti-inflammatory lifestyle coach. I need to focus here because, just give me one sec while I bring her on. Um, let me see. Hang on one sec, guys, sorry. You practice these things and then, just not sure how to get her on here. One sec. Okay, Crystal, can you tell me if you're on? Because then I can maybe see what's happening. And da 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 da. Sorry, guys. Okay, I think I've got it. Okay, so let me just start one more time. Um, so super happy to be here. Hi, Crystal. I'm so excited oh. that I have to work. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our first. So this is my first um, time doing the training where I'm bringing on a special guest, which I do have here with me, Crystal Mitsky. She, like I was saying nutritionist and anti-inflammatory lifestyle coach. She works with entrepreneurial women to help them achieve ultimate success without sacrificing their health. So with that, um, give me a hashtag live if you're live, hashtag replay if you're on replay, and hashtag newbie if you're newbie. But without further ado, Crystal, did I miss anything? I'm so excited that we're talking about this. <laughs> Oh, you're so sweet, and thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. No, you didn't miss anything out, anything okay. at all. So I'm just so excited to be able to be in your live and talk about the things that matter the most to me, which is like skipping that diet lifestyle and start living an anti-inflammatory lifestyle because that's going to sort of make the whole difference um, in your life. So... Um, the thing that um, where I differ myself from other coaches, because I mean, there's heaps of programs and systems and stuff uh, out there teaching this. Um, but where I sort of where I differ is the mind body connection mm -hmm. and also my food, um, my food correction system that I have uh, created, especially for all these fabulous women that I work with. So, anyway, what is anti-inflammatory lifestyle? People keep asking me, and I'm like, it's no woohoo, you know? It's just get off the diets and start living your life, you know? We don't want to have a yo-yo life. We want to have sort of a stable life where we can live in joy. So, an anti-inflammatory lifestyle is where what I do is I live it like 80-20. Mm -hmm. So, 80% of my time, I'm all good. And 20% of the time, which is like Friday or mm -hmm. Saturday, I do the wine. I do the junk food on the Sunday. You know, um, I have my sugars if I want it, but mm -hmm. I make a choice to have it. I don't just have it because I can, but I actually mm -hmm. make a choice. So that's sort of the difference. So from Monday to Friday, I sort of, I live clean. I live uh, mindful. And what is living mindful? But that's just making the choice that, 
whatever enters my body is healthy, is doing something great for my system instead of breaking me down. It's going to build my, me up, my energy, um, you know, um, my health. Uh, if I'm stressed in periods of time, I mean, if I'm off this food, I'm going to get stressed and burnout, um, chronic pain, joint pain, whatever, anything, everything pops up. I mean, the hormones go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and wild. that's, that's the thing that with food, food is so powerful. Mm-hmm. And I think nature is just giving it to us for like almost free. It's just, it's out there. So be really like, do the choice and, and have organic food um, and do the whole food instead of, I always get scared, you know, if I buy food and, and, and it's sort of like a light product. I never do that, for instance, yeah. because mm-hmm. what's the process? What's it been through? Like what chemical process to take something out of a whole food to make it a light product? That scares the shit out of me. Sorry, the French, but it does. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> so rather have the fat than have the non-fat, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, And just do the choices of having, like, the good fats, um, like olive oils, coconut oil. uh, Do the seeds, the grains, the nuts. It's got heaps of all the good good oils and and fats that we we do need fat. If we don't have fat, the brain's going to go out of function. I mean, the brain needs fat. Our body needs fat. Everything needs fat. So so we do want fat. So don't do the the light stuff. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah avocado too i've been having a lot of avocado as well it's also nice. fantastic absolutely fantastic but i mean again everything is in moderation i mean we can't uh, i love almonds you know but i mm. can't keep eating it because then it becomes like fat fat and we don't want that so it's <laughs> sort of think about food as a like a like a medicine like a, a, a product of energy something that sort of fuels your whole system and cleanses your whole system. So it's like a gift, you know, instead of being something that hurts us because, yeah, food can hurt us a lot. But self-healing food, great thing. I love it. That's the whole anti-inflammatory mindset about food. Mm -hmm. Um, Like if I can just sort of – what you want to do in the morning – I'm going to I'm going to be talking about food and sleep and how to de-stress. Awesome. I've got a, like a little <clears throat> what can you say I've got a little um picture of like a stress bucket. I'm mm-hmm. going to get to that in, okay. in point 3. But um so in and it all sort of it, it it's all together. You can't sort of take one out and just do the other two. You have to do like the whole shebang to get and live uh, a healthy and anti-inflammatory uh, life. Mm-hmm. Um, but a good thing to do with the food, like in the morning, or when you sleep during the night, you, like your whole system regenerates. So think about it like a phone. You recharge it every night because you can't function the next day without battery. Sort of the same thing with your system. So you need your sleep. But when you sleep, you regenerate. Your cells get renewed. Um, and your liver, we're going to have to make like, we should, the liver is like the God, you know, because that <laughs> cleanses everything. It's our little chemical factory. Mm. So that is really working while we sleep. So if we don't sleep, it's not going to work. So while we sleep, it's going to sort of detox every, everything, process everything, good or bad, that we've put into the system during the day. And what we need to do to help that sort of, refresh as well is in the morning on an empty stomach have a big glass of water with half squeezed organic lemon juice into it Mm -hmm. because you're going to go to the bathroom and pee a lot but you want that then you detox everything you flush everything out of your system and you're fresh so yeah good way to start the morning so yeah anyway that was sort of like a little little thing and then you want to sort of uh, stabilize your blood sugar from in the in the morning from the beginning so you do like um if you're not vegan you can do eggs uh you can do the chia mm-hmm. if one hasn't tried the chia you should do the chia because it fills you up and it's filled with proteins and vitamins 
uh, and that sort of stabilizes you until lunch. Um, you can do the juices. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm a juicer. I love to juice. <laughs> not squeezing it. And this is really important because I've always, like, before I educated into becoming an anti-inflammatory uh, nutritionist, I always squeezed all my juices. Hmm. The thing is that when you squeeze a fruit, all the fibers, they die. Hmm. So you get the fibers from the fruit, which is real vegetables. It's really important that we get the fibers. So instead you blend it. So everything, just toss it into a blender and just pulse it and blend it. And then it's like the same effect as when we, when we chew the food. So you get all the fibers, all the vitamins are intact, all the minerals are intact. So it's really important to, yeah, sort of get that mindset going as well. And it's easier because you get to drink the whole thing. You don't have to clean like 10 different containers afterwards <laughs> and think about, okay, this is food waste. So I have to bake with the fruit leftovers or what do I do with that? Just toss it or give it to the chickens or whatever. So here you just get to eat the whole thing and it's just amazing. And that even, I mean, that stabilizes everything as well from, from the beginning of the day. Mm -hmm. And helps your liver detox. So that's really, that's a really good one to do. Um, yeah, we talked about earlier when we discussed this, uh, this live, we talked about it's difficult for people to sort of, it's yeah. like a practice thing with the food, isn't it? Like, yeah, I was going to say, because I have a lot of clients who, you know, they want to make, like, self-care is a huge part of what I do. And when people talk, when we get to the food part, so I'm just adjusting there, it's, you know, um, I don't have the time because we're busy. And I don't, and I have, like, a big family, so I can, I'm not about to cook one meal for myself and, and you know, something else for everybody else in the family. And then the other thing too was priority. Like yeah. it always seems to fall like, it's like, oh, I'm going to meal plan, but then meal plan doesn't happen. Or I'm going to eat well today. And then it does, it, it's like falls off as a priority. So would love to hear anything you have in terms of helping people with that. Yeah, I get that all the time as well. And it's, <laughs> it's actually, it's like, funny or scary or I don't know what to call it that we don't prioritize it because yeah. we can prioritize everything else but the food becomes like a oh can't be bothered <laughs> and it makes us feel shit if we don't bother about it but like one thing that what I do I have three beautiful girls um in the age of 8 12 and 16 Oh, and I have a husband who is like a sugar addict. So we have the same problem at my house as everyone else. He doesn't want salads. He doesn't want to eat my food. <laughs> so, you know, he puts cream in everything and I don't want cream in nothing. And he has cheese. I, I don't want cheese. You know, it, it's just, so I know the issues that come up. But for the time thing that, you know, to get the time and sort of, you have to prioritize it. So mm -hmm. what I do personally is that I involve my kids. I don't want, I don't worry about my husband because I mean, I can't reach him anyway. So, <laughs> so, but I focus on the kids and try and learn them about the food. Mm -hmm. So what we do is like I shop only one day a week. I just go for a, like a full shopping thing. Mm -hmm. I hate planning. I hate doing meal plans because I know that I might feel like this today, but tomorrow I'm not going to want to eat that. So I never like do a whole three-day meal thing or a whole week meal planning course. So I just shop. I shop every fruit, every salad, any greens and chicken. I rarely eat meat, but I do have chicken or fish. Mm -hmm. um, so I shop everything. And then I come home with all the groceries. I take the kids and they start shopping with me. So that's how we plan for the week so i take all the chicken i chop it up and i fry it or bake it or prepare it and put it in the in the fridge and the same thing with um with all the uh, vegetables because it makes it easier if everything's done you just take it out of the fridge and you just mix your salad it's all chopped and done and cooked and mm -hmm. so it's so much easier um, and you can just heat the chicken. I mean, I, I fry it on a pan. 
Mm -hmm. Put it in the fridge and then I take it out and I just heat it on the pan with some oil and some spices. Yeah. So it's like a meal at my place takes about max half an hour. I hate I hate spending too much time in the kitchen mm -hmm. during the week because I want to spend that time with my kids instead. So that's yeah. why we plan everything on a Sunday. But I mean, you can do it Monday, Tuesday, Friday, whatever day suits you. Mm -hmm. But really, one of the most important things is to meal prep that way um, instead of just... doing. Yeah, a lot of people want to do like a meal plan and that mm -hmm. works fine for them, then that's what you're going to do. But yeah. for me, it doesn't work. So I've just had to do it a different way. And it, that's really amazing. And the kids love to chop and mm -hmm. taste it. So we sort of, that gets them to taste different things also and have a say in what we are going to make. And it's yeah. easy also for the kids to just go in the fridge and do something themselves i don't have to do everything mm -hmm. that's one thing like take one day do the whole shebang and then you're off and you can just you know do the small shopping during the week but it's a whole big thing mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing and then another thing is that like you have to priority it ha you have to make it like a priority you have to choose that i want to do this this means something for me my health my kids my family um, my career, whatever. I mean, just have fun with it. Yeah. Just thinking of it as a burden. Yeah. Have yeah. fun. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know, eat while you cook it and just, you know, have fun. Throw the flour everywhere. Whatever. I don't <laughs> Just have fun with it. We forget to have fun when it's about food. It's because so being we just have to do, you know? Yeah. And then um, – that also makes it easier because we have like five different people. I have two girls who love salads. Like they're all in with the salad thing, mm -hmm. uh, soups and veggies and chicken. And, and then I've got my husband and one girl that's just like, no go. <laughs> I'm not going to eat that cream. <laughs> oh so God. what I do is I do like, we, we do the meat or the chicken or the fish. They do want to eat that. And then I just do my salad. Mm. And then like I can do like oven baked, uh, 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 what do you call them? Like potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, carrots, and so on. They will eat that with the sauce. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it's just sort of think about it as instead of I have to cook for five, I'm I'm done it. I'm going to do the whole thing one day, and then we can sort of toss it all together what we like. So there's something for everyone. And just I really like. Most important, have fun. Yeah. And don't be scared to experiment. I mean, kids love to experiment. Yeah. Have them put the spices in the things and sort of, what's this going to do? I don't know. Let's try it and taste it. <laughs> See what happens. Do you like it? Maybe they do. I mean, I, my kids, they hate hummus. I love hummus. Oh I always God. have like a, like a cream. Cream for me is like hummus. It could be beetroot hummus, chickpea hummus, pea hummus, whatever. Um, but I've tried to fry the chickpeas on the pan with, um, oh, what do you call that? Beautiful turmeric. Oh. And, and the kids will eat that. That's yeah. like, what? But then they love it. So sometimes it's also, you know, figuring out how do they want the veggies to go mm -hmm. with thing instead of just, yeah. So, so that's some, for me, good tips. I, a lot of my clients have taken that on because – the meal prep, the meal planning is just <laughs> going to happen. But we have to make a choice and, and make it a priority. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, anyway, sleep is mm -hmm. another thing. Sleep, like, that's also a thing that we just neglect. Yeah. A lot of us are like, you know, if we're stressed, if we have a lot going on, um, yeah, I'll sleep tomorrow. It doesn't matter. I'll just work all through the night, yada, yada. And that is actually one of the worst things that we can do, mm. like the sleep, because like I said earlier, when you sleep, your whole system regenerates, your cells are being renewed. I mean, girls, it's, it's not a, it's not a, like a kidney thing that is called beauty sleep. Like everything just smooths out <laughs> while we sleep. So, and, and every organ, like all our organs are working every, every hour, every minute of the day, yeah. and it Really, they need to rest. Mm -hmm. They need to 
regenerate themselves. And even the brain, it, this is a, like an amazing picture. If you, if you sort of picture yourself that when you sleep, you have this little man wandering around in your brain with a hose and just sort of washing all the bad shit that happened during the day out. That's mm. what's going on. Your brain shrinks when you sleep just a little bit and all these fluids wash through mm -hmm. and just and cleanses. So some studies have shown that um, like dementia can be actually like can be a cause due to the fact that food eating bad through yeah. your life and then mm -hmm. not sleeping enough. So, but that was just sort of like a side thing. But so sleep is really, really important. Um, the thing about sleep is that when we, I'm just blabbering, so you just have to stop me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, it's so you get good. You going in these topics because I just, they're everything to me because I know what they do for people, for my clients. Um, but the thing about sleep is that you have to start, if, if I, I've always been like a person that wake up at 10 o'clock at night and then I love to work all night until I was aware of all this. So I had to get into some really good routines to be able to go to sleep uh, early. Mm -hmm. So if you start your routine around 10, you turn off your TV, you turn off your phone, you turn off emails, notifications, everything. Just let it go. Yeah. And give yourself the time to sort of do something nice for yourself. I mean, go to the bathroom, have a shower, cleanse your face. You know, mm. oils on your body, light a like a beautiful smelling candle. Um, mm. So, so make it like a you time. Yeah, and um, and go to bed with a book. Don't do the devices yeah. because your brain thinks or your eyes are going to get that blue light, and that's going to start uh, producing melatonin, which mm -hmm. means that the brain thinks I'm going to be awake. I need to wake up, so yeah. it's going to not go into that deep sleep mode during during night where you want to be. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that it takes about, I think it's about an hour and a half to get into deep sleep mode. And deep sleep mode happens between one and five. And that's where your whole system is just being renewed. So it's really important that, yeah, if you go to sleep at 10 or go to bed at 10, it takes me about an hour to, before I sort of, I'm all down. <laughs> yeah, no, me too. So I guess if we could summarize like how to lose the diet lifestyle for good, mm. you know, it's food. So eating yeah. right food, it's getting oh. enough sleep. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's about, you know, stress, yeah. like not stressing, like making not it fun. Yeah, because uh, well, I can what I, I can just quickly come uh, bring in this whole stress bucket thing because oh, mm -hmm. we do like we all have we all produce the stress hormone like yeah. every day all time all during the day, and we need the stress hormone to um to be produced because I mean it's it's like a it's like a flight you know mode. So you yeah, the fight or that. flight. Yeah, fright, fright, fright or flight. <laughs> you need that. I mean, because if something happens, you need to be alert, you know? So it's yeah, a good yeah. thing and we do produce it, but we need to lower the stress hormone during the day at some point. Because so if you picture this bucket, that bucket will always be half full of water, which is the stress mm -hmm. uh, level. Mm -hmm. You can never empty that totally and we don't want to empty it totally. But... Every event or thing that happens to you during the day, like, I mean, someone can just wait, then I produce the stress hormone. If uh, I'm behind, if I'm yada yada, you know, whatever, you produce the stress hormone. And that's like little drops of water in that bucket. And if you don't make sure to empty it, it's going to overflow. Yeah. And you don't <clears throat> want to get to that point where it overflows because it's going to be, it's going to take forever for you to come back into your normal mode of, yeah. of function. So I see people a lot uh, being couched or bedded for like months, even years, mm -hmm. one, because they haven't been eating right, sleeping right, and emptying that stress bucket. And it's really simple if you want to empty that or when you want to empty that stress bucket, like go for a walk during the day. Mm -hmm. Do a 45-minute 40, walk, mm -hmm. just like a 
um, a, a mindful walk. Do the walk where you sort of you listen to the birds, you listen to the wind, you take the smells in and the sounds, and without yeah. having an agenda, just walking. Yeah. Um, you can do the um, you, breathing exercises. That mm -hmm. that's really really uh, heavy stuff to do during the day. I mean, I work. If you work a corporate job. Go to the bathroom or close your office door and just do some breathing exercises for like five minutes. Make sure you breathe all the way to your stomach and just let everything out. That yeah. decent your system like you won't believe it. Just yeah. breathe it. Mm -hmm. uh, meditation, I do that every morning uh, before I go anywhere. I do like five to ten minutes just mm -hmm. meditating. Uh, and yoga is fantastic. Yin yoga or restorative yoga is just, if you can give yourself that gift once a week, just once a week, you should do oh, that. It's favorite. And yeah. it's not, I mean, I recently discovered yin myself, um, and it's, I think it's gaining in popularity because of all of those um, benefits that you're mentioning. But this has been absolutely fantastic, Crystal. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom. And I think that, well, I don't think, I know that you have a wonderful gift to share with us. I do. <laughs> oh, I, I have, um, I have given uh, like a three-step audio system for all of you guys. Natalia will put the link below. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you will get like three audios, one on food, one on sleep, and one on emptying that stress bucket. And just, it's like, I think about between 10 to 15 minutes each. It's nothing. Listen, mm -hmm. take it all in, take notes, and just um, start implementing. But have fun. That's the most important thing. Have fun with it. Don't be scared. Just yeah. Do it. I, love, I love the attitude that like, it's about just letting go and not putting so many rules around it. Cause I think a There's lot no of rules in this, that's what I love yeah. about it. No yeah, rules. Live mm -hmm. and think, you know, be smart. Yeah. Move your smart, you know, with yoga. Yeah. Don't stress about running and going to the gym. If it's yeah. not you, it's not you, but you have yeah. to exercise and do the smart thing, you know? I love it. Yeah. A little slogan like that. Do the smart thing. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much, Crystal. And I hope everyone enjoyed this um, this training. There's going to be lots more collaboration coming. And um, yeah, stay tuned for that link. I'll add it to the um, video below and in the comments too. Have a Thanks wonderful day. <laughs> lots of love. Talk to you soon. Bye.